Hey guys, this is Christian Sawyer. Um, I'm going to be talking about problems three and four from the uh, group problems. Uh, so three, we start off with, uh, as always, the heterozygous and a homozygous recessive individual. So here, the heterozygous female has um, wild type alleles, which are dominant, as well as the uh, recessive alleles, C, G, C, and S. And then the hetero uh, homozygous recessive male just has the um, two copies of G, two copies of C, and two copies of S. So I copied down the results. Um, you know, we've got, I like putting in percentages because it helps me see it better. Um, 2.7 of all wild, 1.1% um, of just S with all wild, the rest being wild, um, so on and so forth. So for part A, um, to find out the allele order, what we've got to do is look at the parental um, phenotypes, the the ones with the largest percentage, which will um, be the wild C wild and the G wild S, 48.4 uh, and 44.1%. So I just, um, what you do is you just do a combination of these two. So I had uh, wild C wild on top and then um, G wild uh, S on the bottom. So that's the genotype. That's the allele order. Um, and then for B, there's three different ways we can do it. There's, um, you know, this original way I have it, we, where you have wild, C wild, uh, and then G wild, S on the bottom. Or you just move it around by um, one place, so then it goes C wild, wild, and then wild, SG, or wild, wild, C, or SG wild. Um, so what we do is I, I drew this little loopy thing to pretend it's a double cross. So these ones would flip on the outside, but this one would stay the way it is. And we're trying to see which one would do a double cross over to give us um, these genotypes we see here in the least numerous um, percentages here. So, you know, I'm not really sure if we did this right because my other group members were having a problem as well, but this is just the way I did it. Um, so I found that this one is the one, is the correct gene order because when you flip these, you do this double crossover, then you get these two genotypes here with, with it being S wild wild and then wild GC. Uh, for C, what you would do normally is you would add up the lowest and then, you know, just figure out the map units. Um, I really was confused on this, and so were my group mates, so we didn't really get around to this part, um, but I'll show you how to do this in question four. I'll just move on to question four. Same thing, we've got wild, 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 and then A and B are F, it's a heterozygous individual, and then homozygous recessive individual is crossed with. Um, these are the percentages we get. Again, find out the allele order, we look at the most numerous um, genotypes here, uh, it's the wild BR F and then, or no, I'm sorry, wild BR wild and, um, A and wild F. Just combine those two. That's, that's the allele order right there. Again, we're looking at B to find out the G, gene order. Um, we're doing this double cross, seeing which one gives us, uh, these genotypes with the double crossovers, the lowest percentages, uh, and it'll be this middle one right here. The gene order will be BRF wild, and on the bottom wild, wild, AN. Um, and I just showed you right here what would happen if you actually did that double crossover, and you'll see you'll get the same thing as these double crossovers here, AN wild F right here in this order, but it's a different order, and wild br wild but here it's um we moved it around so it's going to be br wild wild uh, c we're going to add up um the numbers of individual individuals we got to find out the map units the distance on the chromosome so we're going to add up the least numerous uh, which is two and three for these genotypes and then the next least numerous um these two right here, we added it all together. We divide by a thousand and times by a hundred to get a percentage or a map unit. 
uh, we get 5.1. And here uh, I'm saying it's between AN, AN and BR because right here, AN and BR, those two are sticking together. Um, we're just flipping that, and that's how you figure out the map unit distance between AN and BR. You do the same thing for the next, uh, I guess, say the next most numerous, which is here, AN, BR, F. Uh, you add it all up, divide by 1,000 times by 100, and I get 19 map units between F and AN. And then I just draw a little uh, rough sketch of a chromosome, and um, we figure out the order which it goes on the chromosome by looking back at B at our gene order um, to see it goes BR, F, and then AN. So I've got BR or wild right here, and then AN, F. I'm figuring out that distance from this calculator right here between AN and BR. It's 5.1 map units. Then AN to F calculated that to be 19 map units. Overall, I, you don't have to do this part, but it's 24.1 map units from BR to F. And then to calculate the interference, the equation is I equals 1 minus observed over expected. You get the ex observed value by combining the, by adding the uh, double crossover values, which is 2 and 3, that gets 5. You multiply the map units. 0 0.01 or 0 0.19 times 0 0.051 times the total number of progeny, which is 1,000, times it by 100 as well to get a percentage. And we get 48.4% for uh, our interference value.